Hey guys, I went to the mall the other day and I had to stop at Lush, so I got a few things. Here, I'm gonna share them with you. So the first thing I got was the Cup of Coffee Face and Body Mask. I had their Mask of Magnamenti one, so I thought I'd try the Cup of Coffee. So it's a smooth mask, you put it on your face, you leave it for about 15 minutes, and then you wash it off while you're like massaging it into your skin. For this, the featured ingredient is their coffee infusion, and it comes from the Arabica coffee plant. Now most of the coffee that we have here in North America uses Arabica coffee beans. I know that from when I worked at Starbucks and the coffee plant Arabica I'm assuming is the exact same thing. Another ingredient is organic agave syrup. Now this is a natural sweetener that a lot of people use instead of sugar. There's kaolin, otherwise known as china clay. Now this is used as an exfoliant and it's a powder that absorbs oils and different liquids in it and then it turns into a paste. So that's probably I'm assuming what helps hold it together and exfoliate your skin. There's something in it called talc, T-A-L-C, and that's what baby powder is. There's roasted cocoa extract, so it has a bit of a chocolatey smell in with the coffee. Coriander seed oil, and I'm sorry if I butcher the name, but vetivert oil. So this vetivert is a type of grass, and it has tall, thin leaves. It's otherwise known as like the oil of tranquility, so it's quite tranquil and relaxing. There's vanilla absolute, and of course, caffeine powder. So the perks of this is the caffeine perks up your skin and awakens it. That's one of the main ideas. The package says, kickstart your day with a stimulating blend of fresh ground coffee, kaolin, and agave syrup. So I'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty thick. In it, you can smell the coffee. You can really smell the coffee beans and a bit of the cocoa. It says the caffeine-packed ground coffee helps scrub away dirt and dry skin, giving the skin a boost. So that also like helps exfoliate your skin and the caffeine just perks you up just like coffee would in the morning. The second thing I got was the Sakura Bath Bomb. If you don't know how a bath bomb works, you pretty much drop it in the water and then it starts to fizz Depending on which type of bath bomb it is, it will release different types of colors into the water, but it also releases a bunch of different oils. Now these oils going into the water will have different effects, but most of them have effects on your skin. So it'll help like smooth or renew stuff, but then the oil also goes into the steam that's in the air, so then you breathe it in. A lot of oils are used in aromatherapy to help your mood or relax you. Now the featured ingredient in this one is Mimosa Absolute. And no, not the drink Mimosa, as awesome as that would be. Mimosa is a plant that grows natively in Australia. Aromatherapists use this plant to relieve and calm people with anxiety. The Mimosa Absolute has astringent qualities, which means it helps cleanse from like dirt and grime, which is really important when you're actually taking a bath. It has a sweet, floral, and slightly woody aroma to it. Other ingredients in this bath bomb are fine sea salt. The fine sea salt helps open up the pores and improve circulation in the skin, as well as hydrating the tissues. There's lemon oil, which gives off a zesty aroma as you'd expect a lemon to do. It is also a cleanser and an antiseptic. It could be helpful in boosting the immune system and fighting infections. Like when a lot of people are sick, they have neocitrin tea, which is a lemon tea, so this lemon zest may have some similar qualities. There's orange flower absolute in it. A fun fact about the orange flower is that it is used to flavor certain liqueurs, like Grand Marinet and Triple Sec. It has an intense floral aroma to it. It has jasmine absolute, which is used in a lot of cosmetics, but it's also used in aromatherapy a lot on sensitive skin. It helps relieve muscle pains, depressions, and other stress-related symptoms. It is also used sometimes to relieve premenstrual tensions. It is said to overall relax the mind and the body. And it has gardenia extract. I don't know if you've ever seen a gardenia flower, but I used to work at a greenhouse and there were these beautiful white flowers and they have a very unique scent to them. These flowers and their berries have been used in Chinese medicine for thousands of years. They help treat irritability, they help with UTIs, and they help with headaches and just relieving stress. I also got the Rose Jam Bubble Rune. I gotta be careful because it crumbled away a bit. 
but they made it to replicate the look of a homemade Mac rune. Now the bubble rune is like the bubble bar. It's made in the two halves, so it's used to span over the length of two different baths. You crumble it under the warm water as you're running the bath, and then it creates like mountains of these, these fluffy bubbles for you. It is like a rose mac rune with the top and the bottom being filled with rose oil and a bunch of different things I'm about to get into. And the middle where the icing would be is where the shea butter is. Now the featured ingredient in it is one of my favorites and it's rose oil. Rose oil is sometimes called fertility oil and it's considered an aphrodisiac. At the same time though, the scent has been an ancient symbol of love and innocence. The scent is recommended by aromatherapists for sadness, depression, and grief. It is believed to have a general balancing effect on one's emotions. It is traditionally recommended for matured skin or anyone who's suffering from the high color that is caused by thread veins or spider veins. I'm not sure how to medically describe that. It's when your veins become highly pigmented in color and you can so easily see them through your skin. Some other ingredients in it are lemon oil and geranium oil. And geranium oil is actually pretty awesome. It has a balancing effect on your nervous system. It has a sweet, floral, and slightly sharp fragrance to it. It is helpful for flushed skins with high color and is recommended for oily, pale, or sluggish skins. It has cocoa butter and shea butter, which are both very moisturizing on your skin. And not only did it have that rose oil, but it also has rose absolute. There's cream of tartar in it, which is a literal kitchen ingredient, but this is what helps foam all those awesome bubbles. I got this cute little guy who sadly lost one eye in the bag, so look at him from this angle because he's a lot cuter. It is known in the Americas as the ladybug, but I looked on the Lush UK website and they refer to it as a ladybird. I don't know if that's what you in the UK actually call ladybugs. I might have to look into that, but it sounds a lot cuter than ladybug. This is a bubble bar, so you crumble it under the warm water in a bath, similar as the thing I just described. These are handmade, so no two of the little bugs look alike. They're all different and unique. The purple and the red blended together in the bath create a nice deep violet color in the water. The featured ingredient in this is the peppermint oil. Peppermint oil has a strong minty aroma to it and it contains menthol, which is thought to have a cooling sensation to it because it dilates the blood vessels and stimulates nerve endings. The way to think of menthol is those cough candies you have sometimes when you're sick and it'll just be take your breath away. It also has cream and tartar for the bubbles, geranium oil, and cornstarch which leaves your skin smooth and silky feeling. I think this might be the last bath product I got, but it was this, Love Struck. Isn't it adorable? It's like the little hard eyes emoji. So Love Struck is a bubble bar. So just like we explained, crumble it up when you're making the bath. Unfortunately, the hard eyes, oh, you have to crumble them. But then it just makes your bath so bubbly. So the featured ingredient in this is the lemon oil which Lush likes to brag is from Sicily. The lemon oil is cleansing and uplifting. Another ingredient in it is the geranium oil, which just helps tone and balance your skin. It also has another ingredient, which I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce. If you were to pronounce it in English, it would look like petit grain, but it also looks like the word petite in French, so petite grain. It comes from the leaves and twigs of the bitter orange tree which is the same orange tree that the orange flower absolute comes from, that thing that they have in the alcohol. This oil helps relieve anxiety and any mental fatigue you may have. Skincare wise, the oil helps reduce overproduction of sebum. Sebum is the oil that your body produces when your skin gets oily. For me, it happens here under my glasses. Some people get it like on their upper lip or on their chin here or anywhere really. It's also what your scalp produces when your hair gets greasy or oily. So this helps reduce overproduction of that. Therefore, it's really helpful for people with acne or oily skin that is prone to dandruff. And it's just overall adorable. I lied, that wasn't the last bath product. I found one more bath bomb. I could not help myself from getting this because it's another rose product. It is the Rose Bombshell Bath Bomb. It looks like it has all these cute little roses on it. It's mostly pink, but it has a bit of that bluish green in it. This is a limited edition product. It's only in Lush stores around Valentine's. The featured ingredient in it is the Rose Absolute. As I said before, Rose has amazing qualities to it. Some other ingredients in this are fine sea salt, lemon oil, geranium oil, and rose oil. These oils combine to create a fantastic smell, and the soothing, calming properties are not only good for your mood, but also for your skin. When I was checking out, I was also given two little free samples. The first one I got was their Dream Cream. 
It just looks like a generic, slightly off-white eggshell looking cream. For Christmas from one of my friends, I actually got one of the one and a half ounce containers of the Dream Cream. But I'm not gonna say no to a cute little purse size sample. This hand and body cream is really moisturizing. I find it great for knuckles, elbows, or kneecaps. Areas where your skin just dries out and needs to be super hydrated. The featured ingredient in this is the tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is known for keeping hair and skin clear and blemish free. It is scientifically proven to be antibacterial and antifungal. The cream has oat milk, lavender, and chamomile, which are really good for even the most sensitive skins. There's olive oil and cocoa butter, and that helps soften up the dry skin. Then it also has a little bit of rose oil, which helps with irritability and any redness. Overall, it's a super moisturizing cream that does its job. The scent is very subtle and has a bit of a clean smell. It's not floral, it's not musky, it's very calm and just smells like a basic cream. The other sample I got was the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. This has a bluish green color to it. If I can block out the sun, looks more green in the camera. And it smells like seaweedy beach. <sighs> this is a face and body scrub and how you use it is you apply it to damp skin and you rub it in to help exfoliate and then you rinse it off. The featured ingredient in this is Seaweed Absolute. It's been used in medicine for years actually for its anti-inflammatory and soothing effects. It's rich in vitamin A, C, and E and that's what helps smooth and calm the skin. Other ingredients in it are fine sea salt like the Sakura bath bomb and also coarse sea salt because it's a scrub. It has fresh grapefruit infusion in it. Aromatherapists use it as a freshing and tonic fragrance. It is very popular for lifting moods, clearing the mind and helping with depression or stress. Seasonal affection disorder, which is when the darker months like winter come and people get seasonal depression from it. The scent of the grapefruit is supposed to help with that. It has lime oil and fresh extracted limes. Lime is used to combat fatigue, also for its antiseptic, antibacterial, and antiviral protection. It makes it ideal for skin that suffers from blocked pores, blackheads, or blemishes. Think of all the lime scented cleaners that we have. Although most of the cleaners have fake lime scent added to them, there's a reason why we associate lime with clean. Those are the few items I picked up at Lush. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. 